Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here real quick today to talk to you about your Tinkercad profile and how you can use your projects to help me out as well. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is super fast. If you click right here, you can find your profile. Now, the first thing I want to mention to you is I tell you to sign in with Google. When you do that, it will have your first and last name. When you change your Tinkercad name to something fun or something short, do remember that it is going to need to be unique, so you'll probably have to add some numbers or other characters to make sure that you're the only person with that username on Tinkercad. Friends, in the little bit about you, make sure you're only given the personal information that you want to share. You do have to always make sure that you're making the correct choices with that. I have given information for how to find my YouTube channel and I've given information for how to find my website so you can check out the cool things that I'm sharing. All right, friends, the next thing I want to share really quick is how you can help me out. If you ever build an awesome project like this is a cool little Hummer that I have a tutorial for, you can share my tutorial in your project file. So real quickly, friends, I'm going to find the video about it. So this is my video about this car. You can see we build it with cardboard. If you copy the link and then you go back to your project, go back to the Tinkercad screen, and then on the project's properties, click the little gear, open the properties. You can keep the name, whatever it is, but inside the description, I'm gonna stretch this out, and in the description, just add a note, like this is a cool car I was able to assemble using a tutorial from HL Mod Tech. And then if you paste that link after it, and then people will be able to see that in the description. Now there's one more step we've gotta do. Of course here I'm gonna put car, Jeep, Hummer, and then down here under privacy, you would need to make it public. And then I think the best choice is to always say no derivatives because you want people to make their own projects. Since there is a tutorial about this, you want them to follow the tutorial. If people just open yours, well then they really didn't create anything so they don't have the skills that are more awesome. Once you hit save changes, that'll be in the public gallery. And the big bonus of making them public is there is a chance that you will get the cool reactions. This is a project that one of my sixth graders, Nyali, shared the other day. She made this awesome scavenger hunt that when you copy and tinker, you can try and find all the pieces. I'll put that video below. And I'll also put a link to her project Project, and then people gave her the awesome feedback two a pluses a like and a keep going which is pretty darn awesome so my friends two quick things update your profile and when you share your projects you can add a link to the video you learned from as well finally friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like maybe even hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course if you have got a question comment or a suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day